It's Ray from RK Studios here today, and um, yeah, well, I have a, a snow day tomorrow from school, and uh, I got some more origami paper and an origami day calendar. Uh, so, I'm in the origami spirit, so I figured I'd start with my first origami video, and that is going to be folding the tato, which is these things. It's not a potato, it's a tato, and like a little envelope with the pinwheels, and if you open them up, it's just an envelope basically. But a pretty cool envelope, so this whole envelope uh, basically folds up and do this. Or you can make it larger and you can put whatever you want inside it. And uh, yeah, maybe like more potato. Your world. Make it your own. So, let's get to folding. So in order to fold this origami project, you will need a square piece of origami paper. So that's pretty much any. Uh, personally, I use this origami paper. I don't know what brand it is. Um, but it is 5 and 7 eighths inch by 5 and 7 eighths inch kind of weird measurement. It's really 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Uh, so, but America doesn't use a metric system because we're stubborn. So, what I did is I folded that paper into fourths and I creased it and then I eventually was able to tear it off and uh, that worked out pretty well. So, I use this, but you can use whatever size square, just equal square. All right, enough rambling. Here we go. So, you're going to start with colored side down and you're going to fold a blend space. So, what that is, is you're going to fold diagonal. And make sure you got it lined up pretty good. Just like that. And you're going to do the other diagonal. You can do whatever shortcuts you like. Uh, if you want to like fold the triangle in half, if you do one diagonal, it doesn't really matter. But uh, for the sake of method, I guess. All right, and now to make one space, you have to fold corners in the middle like you're making one of those fortune tellers that you're making. Like, well, you still might make them. Cootie catchers, fortune tellers, whatever you call them. So you're gonna. Time. You already have the diagonals in there. So, give them as even as possible. And you might have to apply the fudge factor, which means not folding them all super close to the center. Give them a little room for error. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be perfect. So, then what you're going to do is unfold. And you have to fold the tip right here. To the crease right there. So, this is on all four sides. So, with this one, there's a lot of repetitive folding because it is an envelope. So, it's going to be symmetrical. And last one. And, alright, now guess what? You're going to unfold these again. Woohoo! Now, you're going to fold that corner. To the new crease. So the same tip, but now to the new crease you just made. So, just to make it as difficult as possible. Alright. I'm, I'm even struggling here, so take your time. Alright, so now you're gonna take this. There's many ways you can do this, but the easiest way is just to take this and fold along the existing crease. So now you've basically folded the two folds you've made over each other. And then you're gonna fold. Okay, let me try. Let me just on all sides. And then you're gonna fold this edge now, the new edge that you've made, to the center crease. And you're gonna have to make a new crease. And then you have to do it on all sides. You're almost done. So 
though. It's not that hard to model. A little tedious. But, uh... I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice. Right here. You made a crease along this line under the flap, and that's how you fold it over. You're just gonna reverse that crease, so now you'll end up with this. So basically, you end up with these pieces, and there's creases on it. So now you just assemble your envelope. So you're going to take it, and you're gonna fold it all the way to the center along the crease you've already made. You're going to do the same thing right here. It should already be pre-creased. And the same thing right here. Now this last one's a bit tricky because if you just fold it straight down, it doesn't work. So you have to imagine you're tucking like closing a box. You have to lift up. You see, this is the one. It goes over and under. So you have to do lift this one up and you're basically going to Push it in there. So I'm gonna have to recrease it. So make sure you have the crease pretty sharp. Then you're gonna just lift this side up. And I'm having difficulties for some reason. Alright, try one more time. Take three. Okay, in order to make this look really cool, you gotta basically reverse fold this dumb little triangle that doesn't like to be reverse folded. There we go. And I screwed up. A little bit. But you get the basic idea. Alright, so, once you've tucked it in once, you're pretty much good to go. It's pretty much the same thing every time. And now you've made a wonderful Tato. So, put something inside it. Take your small Tato, and make a large Tato, and close it up. So just to show that closing one more time, uh, just in case, you take one flap, Okay, it's pretty simple, I'll put the last flap. Okay, and you're gonna take the next flap, so you're gonna take one flap, I guess you could do like this. This flap, rotate 90 degrees, this flap, rotate 90 degrees, this flap, rotate 90 degrees, then you're gonna put this flap down, but you have to lift and push until it, it flattens that little crease out, and then just I'll stay straight down. So, I mean, this is pretty, pretty secure. It's not gonna come open. And it, I mean, it holds the envelope shut. So, that is a Tato. I don't know why it's named that. Just named a Tato. So, hope you enjoyed this origami. Um, so, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this origami. I think it's pretty sweet. And what about this sweet table filming setup? I like it too. I think I might use it for like uh, projects, but origami seems to work pretty well here. So, shout out to uh, Jeremy Schaefer. Uh, I have his book, Origami to Astonish and Amuse. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So, I'll put a link to his channel and probably in the description. And uh, so, check out his channel. He has lots of cool origami. Um, yeah, and I'll bring more more origami soon, so, this is Rafe Marquez Studios, and goodbye.